city nature, police work can put officers in the middle of highly charged situations that sometimes run the risk of escalating into violence. Now one department is looking to better train its officers to keep such confrontations from getting out of control. From Milwaukee, Dean Reynolds has the story. Y'all put me in handcuffs. The same goes on all the time. All the time. This is what police trainees in Milwaukee practice as they prepare for what could be the fight of their lives. So at the end, it turned out he was a victim? Correct. Can you cuff the victim? Yes. Okay, and why? For safety. For safety, exactly. Addressing bias and dealing with communities always sensitive to it is a consequence of many highly charged confrontations that have forced officers into court. Be careful not to get sucked into what they're calling about. Listen to the approach of police and trainer Rondone Powell. If a person that live in the neighborhood call in saying there's a black person sitting in a car outside my house, are you going to be sucked into this person bias? Yes, ma'am. Black people can live in communities where predominantly white people live. So are you going to stop every person who, you know, is opposite of what that community demographic looks like? Be aware of your biases, but also be aware that part of the employment here is to investigate things that are out of the norm. I grew up in a neighborhood in the inner city of Milwaukee where police and community relations was not good at at all. And I found out that there's certain things that I viewed when I was a kid that really wasn't true. And as I became more of an experienced police officer, I began to obtain a desire to come to the academy and teach recruits. Bias-based actions really impact the community and your department. I think in the last five years, what we've seen is a great deal more attention being paid to what's called de-escalation skills. Milwaukee Police Chief Edward Flynn. It won't always work, but we do want to give them those skills so that they have time to employ it. We do our very, very best not to fight with people. We don't want to go hands-on. Stacy Steen has been instructing recruits here for five years. Ideally, we want, as police officers, to gain your cooperation through words. Milwaukee police. These recruits have to pass state tests covering more than a thousand hours of training. Start at the top, work your way down. There's no other occupation in government, none, including the military, that puts so much responsibility on the shoulders of the lowest ranking member of the organization. Let go of my gun! Angela Klinker and Lorenzo Mahomes are two of those recruits. Why are you doing this now? Well, because I live here in Milwaukee and I plan on living here throughout the rest of my life, so why wouldn't I want to be in the forefront of doing something good for the city? Did he come in through this door or through that door? If you come into contact with somebody and you treat them with respect and you know you treat them like you'd want to be treated, I think that can go a long way towards kind of building trust between the community and the police department. I don't got to say anything. We've talked enough. Yes, ma'am. And as these recruits cross the stage to being officers, one final reminder from their chief. No matter how many scenario-based training you do, no matter how many skill sets you do, sooner or later they are applying this in a dynamic, stressful, ambiguous set of circumstances. And uh, that's the true test. And that's when character takes over. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Dean Reynolds, Milwaukee. So interesting what they're doing there. Those that first moment when you come in contact, those are really yep. critical moments. Yeah. And that's when a lot happens that can set it on one course or another. Yeah, precisely.